Good day everyone, this is Cypher here, and uh, I'm going to be playing a bit of Liar Liar. I've done it in the stream before, but I wanted something to record to put up on my channel, as me and Evan are going to be playing Liar Liar 2 together pretty soon. So, here is the first game. Without further ado, have my terrible voice acting lull you into the pits. Um, the pits of boredom. <coughs> Hi there! My name is Yukari, and I'm a middle schooler. This may be a little sudden, but I'm just gonna say it. I'm gonna kill my boyfriend. Why, you ask? That's none of your business. And besides, it'll be way too long to tell you anyways. So, stranger, will you help me? Sure. Really? Well then, what are you waiting for? Let's kill him! Oh, that looks like Tanaka from the baseball team. What is he doing here so early in the morning? Oh, hey Yukari. What are you doing here so early? I could ask the same for yourself! What? What you doing here? I thought club practice didn't start until 8 a.m. Thought I'd get an extra pla practice before the team arrived. I see. You still haven't told me why you're here at school at 6 a.m., Yukari. There must be a reason, right? Hmm. <clears throat> sure. I don't think there's any use in lying. Tanaka would see right through my lies anyway. I came here early so I could catch my boyfriend by surprise. Your boyfriend? I need to catch him. I I need to catch him by surprise to kill him, of course. Uh, this is a joke, right? Nope, no joke. A hundred percent truth. A lot of things have happened to Naka. And my boyfriend did something absolutely unforgivable. So I'm having him pay for it. With his life. Y you're kidding. Nope. You can't just kill him. What are you talking about? Of course I can. Yukari, that's wrong. Jeez, Tanaka. I thought you would understand. I guess I'll have to kill you too. Since you know way too much. I'm calling the police. <laughs> Jeez, Tanaka. I couldn't have you go and ruin my plan. I still haven't even gotten started yet. It's too bad. You were here at the wrong place at the wrong time. Now all I have to do is get rid of the body and clean myself up. Hmm, this is a problem. Where should I go to get rid of the body? And clean off all this blood. I got it! I'll just go to the girls' restroom. I'll store Tanaka's body in the old unused stall in the back. There's sinks and everything. I'm sure I can clean all this blood too if I move fast enough. Yay! Everything's gonna work out. There. That should do it. Jeez, Tanaka. You're so heavy. Well, now that I got away, it's time to... Oh my god! You're covered in blood! And did you just stuff a body in the last stool? Miho! You can cut the axe! <laughs> you got me. I just wanted to act all surprised and junk. Like in those horror movies. You could use a few more acting lessons, to be honest. You really think so? I think I'm pretty good. I could probably be an actress. Quit joking around. This is Miho Sonada. She's a student council president at this school. She looks and acts like a big hairhead. But honestly, I think she's just as messed up as me. But this is a pretty tight bind you're in, Minamata. 
Stuffing a body in the stall is a pretty big deal. Not to mention you're covered from head to toe in blood. How about I help you out, Minamita? And how are you going to do that? Well, that's easy. I could provide a fresh, clean, new uniform for you. And I could keep quiet about this little body stall stuffing. I could also help you out to get rid of the body. So what's the catch? You don't beat around the bush, do you? Well, in exchange, I'd like you to kill a guy for me. Who is it? Just this guy has been harassing me for weeks. Calls me daily, around 16 times a day. Leaves tons of gifts in my locker. I once caught him following me home from school. What a, what a creep. I know, right? It's getting really out of control. The school won't do anything. And the police won't do anything either. I considered killing him myself, but... Then you came along. I'm not very confident in my strength. But I know I can help you cover all the... I can help you cover all of this up. If you're willing to work together. How about it, partner? Sure thing, partner. Oh, goody. I knew you would agree. Let me lend you a spare uniform for now. There. All better, right? I suppose so. So who is this person anyways? It's Wakabayashi from the theater club. That beanpole is stalking you? I'm afraid so. This should be easy. The next body stopped in that locker will be him. I'll be looking forward to it. Oh, before I forget. She's writing something down on a piece of paper. There's my phone number. Call me if you need anything, okay? Right. Well, with that settled, I guess I got some work to do. I guess I should start with trying to find that shub. Wakabayashi. Where would he even be, though? Duh, the theater room. <clears throat> Now, if I'm correct, Wakabayashi should be somewhere around here. Oh, I think that might be him right there. Why, if it isn't Minamita, what's a fine lady like you doing here so early? Well, as for me, I was getting ready to prepare for this week's stage performance. And no one asked you. I am so very busy. Don't even have that much time for beauty sleep. Not that I need it, of course. This week's performance is going to be one of our best, I'm sure. Because I'll be starring as the lead role. Don't talk too much, do you, Minamita? I have some business with you. Wakabayashi. You don't say. I heard you've been stalking someone from this school. <sighs> you've been harassing her day and night. You followed her home one time. Ring any bells? I have no, not a clue what you're talking about. Look, Wakabayashi. I know it's you. Just cough it up. I'm not playing around. Minamita, it, it wasn't me. Hmm. He's a liar. You're a dirty liar, Wakabayashi. All boys are. Fine. Let's say I indeed, I indeed did stalk this person you're talking about. Do you have any tangible proof? You're the person... The person you're stalking told me themselves that you're the one doing it. That's all the proof I need. That... That's just heresy. Call it what you want. I know you're responsible, and you're gonna pay for it. Look, I didn't stalk Miho, alright? I never mentioned who it was, Wakabayashi. 
Yukui, please. Don't use my name so casually, you little cockroach. Please. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> Serves you right, Wakabayashi. I stab him over and over and over. And over and over and over. And over and over and over and over and over. Serves him right for harassing a girl. <laughs> Jeez, another uniform all dirtied up. Doing another person's dirty work is so tedious. I better call Miho to help me clean up. Hey, Miho, it's me. I killed Wakabayashi for you. Help him, help me clean up. Oh, goody. I'll be right there. <laughs> as flamboyant as always with the blood, aren't we, Yukari? Whatever, Miho. Just help me clean this guy up. Oh, wait. There's something I have to do real quick. Miho's walking towards the theater club room. What's she doing in there? I don't really care, but you better hurry up. Sorry to keep you waiting. I'll help you carry the body to the bathroom for now. Just what were you doing in there, Miho? Hmm? Oh, I was just getting these. Mio hands me a bunch of photos. <sighs> these are all... photos of you. There were over a dozen photos of Mio. S sifting through them is disturbing. There's some of her eating at school, or walking through the courtyard. There's even one where she's eating with her family at home. There's more creep shots of her than I can count. It's a good thing that I killed this beanpole. Lots of photos, right? I knew he took a bunch of photos of me. But I could never be sure where he hid them. I thought I'd check it out, just to be safe. Good thing he's so simple-minded. I wouldn't want anyone else to get a hold of these photos. Nice! Right. No, let's get rid of the shoe. That should do it. Eh, why are boys so heavy? No idea. Unfortunately, I don't have a spare uniform this time. I do have a sports jersey for the time being, though. Here you go. Sigh. Well, I guess that's fine. Oh, you agree. You don't know... Don't you know that I got your back? I'll wash out all the blood in the other uniforms so you can wear them soon. Thanks. Thanks for killing Wakabayashi, by the way. Don't worry about it. So what are you gonna do now? That's obvious. Kill my boyfriend, of course. Just curious. What did he do that was so awful that you decided to kill him? It's going to be a long story. I don't mind long stories. Fine. Whatever you want. It was something that happened a few weeks ago. I wonder where he is. I was hoping we could hang out during lunch so we could eat together. I even woke up early to make lunch for him. Oh, stop. <laughs> no. It's true. That sounds like him. You're the most beautiful girl I've ever met. <sighs> oh, quit it. You're lying. No, it's true. You're the most beautiful girl I've ever met. I love you. Minami. Me. <laughs> What's going on in here? <clears throat> What are you even doing here, sis? What's the meaning of this? Y Yukari, calm down. Don't tell me what to do! Don't touch him. He's mine. He lied to me. He said he was my boyfriend. He said I was the only one. He lied to you too. 
No, he didn't. You're just jealous of me. I finally have a boyfriend that's good to me. And you're trying to take him away from me. Minami. He was never your boyfriend, Yukari. He was mine. You're just delusional. God, when are you going to be satisfied? Will you be satisfied when you take him away from me? Well, you're not going to. Hey, you're my boyfriend, right? Of course, you know me. See, big sis, he's mine. Now, fuck off. No. Yes. So he was dating you and your sister at the same time? And your sister was convinced that you were just making the stuff up? And he chose your sister over you? That's disgusting. That's why I have to kill him. Understandable. Good luck then, Yukari. Thanks. I've still got plenty of time to catch my boyfriend off guard and kill him. Hmm. The only problem is that he's usually never alone. This is going to be a problem. If he's around too many people, I won't be able to finish them all off. If only I could think of some way to isolate him. That's it! I'll wait for him to lower his guard and go into the bathroom. That's where I'll ambush him. I'll just hide in this stall and wait for him to come. Just need him to come closer. Closer. Almost there. Now! I finally got you! Y Yukari, what the hell are you doing? I finally got you all alone! I'm gonna kill you for what you did to me! Put that knife away! Let's talk about this! I've had enough of talking. Tanaka? I thought I killed you. What is he doing here? I thought he was dead. Tanaka's holding a box cutter. Was he planning on surprise attacking me with it? It looks like he stopped in the middle of his attack, though. <coughs> his movements have completely stopped. <sighs> looks like I made it in time. Sorry, Yukari. Looks like Tanaka wasn't dead after all. Try to sneak away and save your boyfriend. I stopped him before he slit your throat, though. Thanks! Doesn't look like you're quite done yet, though. Your boyfriend is still looking quite well and alive. <laughs> then don't mind if I do. Finally, it's over. So what now, then, Yukari? Get rid of the body so they'll never be found, I guess. I see. Well, don't worry too much about that. I can help you. Hey, Miho. Yeah? Thanks. For everything. Don't mention it. Thanks for saving me back there. Tanaka could have killed me. Not a problem, Yukari. I have one question, though. Shoot. Why would you go through all this trouble for me? I mean, that was the thing with Wakabayashi, but... You could have easily let me die by there. You aren't obliged to do that for me. That's because I like you, Yukari. I care about you. I like you too, Miho. Good to know the feeling's mutual. Now, let's get down to business. Yeah! Ah, uh, no. Absolutely trash.